Hello, my name's Tim, and I'll be showing you how to install this skid plate on an 04 and up Sportster that you can find right here at lowbrowcustoms.com. So stick around. So this skid plate is made in the United States, locally right here in Ohio. It's lasered out of 16 gauge stainless steel with lots of holes in it, so it's both beefy and lightweight, and it'll be a great addition for any style of sportster you might have. So you might be thinking to yourself, why should I need a plate like this on my motorcycle? Well, the underside of your bike is probably the most vulnerable spot to your motorcycle as in terms of your engine cases. And depending on what the roads are like in your area, here in Cleveland, Ohio, that could be one chuck hole away from ending your riding season. So get one of these plates and help protect your motorcycle. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this on your bike. So this kit comes with everything you need. You got two sets of bolts, three sets of spacers. So the only thing that you're gonna need is some Allen wrenches and some blue Loctite. And so I'm gonna show you by starting with the front to get this thing bolted on. So we're gonna start off with the spacer with the larger holes in it that's spaced further apart. And that's gonna be for the 3 8 bolts. So we're gonna stick the lock washers on there. And then, so the bolts and the lock washers come in through the front, the spacer on the back, and then you're actually going to thread it in to this mount that's on the front of your frame. But before you do so, just put some Loctite on the bolts and then we're gonna hold that up and get the bolts started and just kind of leave them loose just to begin with. Okay, so you take these bolts, they go in the front with the lock washer on the outside, spacer on the inside just to space it off the frame. If you've been riding this bike for a little bit, you might wanna tap these out. Maybe just run a bolt in there real quick just to make sure that your threads aren't all crusty and stuff. You might wanna clean them out before you install this thing. But I just tapped them out, everything seems good. So we're gonna get these bolts started in there. And you're not gonna to wanna to tighten these up yet. We're gonna leave them loose while we get the rear portion of this installed. And so to install the rear portion, it's the same thing with the bolts on the outside with the lock washers. And then there's a little spot on your frame where there's a bent sheet metal portion. And this two piece spacer stack is going to sit on top of the plate on the inside and then go in between the plate and that lasered uh, bracket that is on your frame. And then you're going to take the threaded portion of this spacer and you're going to sit it on top. So there's going to be the plate on the bottom, this two piece lasered stack, and then the sheet metal eighth inch bracket of the frame. And then this is going to sit on top of the frame. And so now that we have the plate installed, we're just going to slip that into between the bracket and then try to fish this through while also getting the bolt started in it. It's a little tricky, but it's not as hard as I just made it sound. So check it out. So first we're gonna take the double stack spacer with the through holes, and we're gonna try to just slide it into, into place, lining it up with these slotted holes in the plate, and trying to get it just in between the channel right here. We're gonna slip one of the bolts in, and the channel has holes on the top that line up with the spacer, that you're provided with. So we're going to try to slip that all into place and take the spacer with the threads and that's going to sit on top. It's a little bit to wiggle into place. Sit that on top and you're just gonna get the thread started. So I got the thread started. Now we take the other bolt and you might wanna use your socket. Just give you a little bit of leverage to wiggle this thing around. All right, so I feel that I passed through the first hole of the double stack spacer, and now you're just gonna try to get the thread started in the spacer on the top. All right, and so I'm just gonna mostly thread these all the way in just so, just so it's close, but I'm gonna leave them a little loose because we're gonna tighten the front first because the front will set the position because it's actually gonna be able to push this plate back so if there's a gap in the front. So leave these so the plate can move and we're gonna snug up the front first.
So that's it. Really easy and quick install. This plate fits 04 Up Sportsters. There's also the, a similar version for 86 to 03, and there's a tech tip video on that as well if you'd like to see how that bolts up. And you can find all this and more at lowbrowcustoms.com.